Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, we have one, at least one gem that I want to talk about, possibly two, and they're both connected with Tron. You might be thinking, well, you don't really like Tron. Well, I think the project's okay, I just don't like the CEO. But I've gotten the theme of that if a smaller coin partners with a larger coin, it's usually better for the smaller coin. And both these smaller coins have partnered with Tron, like I did in my first video today. And the one I really want to talk about is Ape NFT, and the other one that we're going to talk about uh, is also Winklink. So we're going to go over Winklink first. Now, Tron did partner with this. This is part of that $300 million uh, Tron Gamify investment. And if you're wondering where Tron got $300 million, don't ask me. I have no idea where he got three, where Justin Sun and Tron got $300 million. This is a Binance Smart Chain coin, and it is the first uh, Tron ecosystem comprehensive oracle. Comprehensive Oracle. So Tron, instead of using Chainlink and others, is actually using Winklink as an Oracle. If Tron expands and the NFT gaming market expands, this one's going to be huge. They're going to need to ping stuff from Winklink, and it's going to have a lot of uh, usage. So it could actually result in a lot of uh, a lot of price growth. The market cap's only three hundred ninety-one million, which is number one thirty. So plenty of room for growth. The fully diluted market cap's only five hundred ten million. That's half a billion. Let me like just for um, kind of like reference, a billion market cap is like the like number like 70, 80, or 90s right now. That's how high the market is. And I think Winklink, even though it's the Tron Oracle, can actually get to you know a couple billion in market cap if the market goes well. Especially with Tron getting into NFT gaming, you are going to have to kind of like base your success on how Tron NFT gaming goes. But NFT gaming, I think, is going to be big. So I think I at least have one burst. It is up 9.13 today. The other one I want to talk about is Ape NFT, and this is a really, really small uh, um, crypto, and it's only 50 million in market cap. Now, neither, both of these cryptos, I don't suggest putting a lot of money in, maybe like 100, 200 bucks, maybe. Now, the supply is huge for this. There's something like 999 trillion, almost one quadrillion Ape NFTs, and the circulating supply is something like 19.999 billion NFTs. So like it's it's actually 19,999 billion NFT. So the supply is huge. So there's a reason for all these zeros before the price, but you know, that really doesn't matter. The market cap itself is only 49 million right now. However, the fully diluted market cap is already 2.4 billion. I'm not really sure what they tend to do with the supply. This is a very, very risky uh, take. And especially if they uh, um, basically increase the supply by a lot all of a sudden. So the Ape NFT thing, Tron's using this as kind of like an NFT platform. Um, essentially, like it will, it was registered in Singapore in March of this year, and they're going to invest in top NFT platforms and network, uh, incubating leading NFT artists to build a bridge between world class artists and the NFT world. And Tron's going to use this um, as their NFT platform. This is a Tron network coin. So because it's only fifty billion right now in market cap. Even though like 19,000 billion uh, circulating supply, which is I think 19 trillion circulating supply, seems like a lot right now. The overall market cap is only 50 billion. I I would do some more research to see like just when they're going to release more of the max supply because there's a lot more supply that's going to be released. But right now, if Tron uh, NFT spikes, this could go up a lot because of its small market cap. And when you have four or five zeros before a price, that always is potential to erase a couple of those zeros and be 100x or more. Because 100x, 49 uh, million is only $4.9 billion. And the thing is, like, for coins, you really have to look at the circulating supply right now rather than the max supply or the total supply, because that's actually how much is in the market, and that actually determines supply and demand more than the max or total supply. So Winklink and Ape NFT, um, Tron has basically invested $300 million alongside its gaming projects into these coins to do this like NFT play to earn marketplace. And they said so as much, all that money is going to play to earn marketplace. And this definitely, this definitely can be pretty big. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think, like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day. Oh, by the way, I don't have any, uh, either one of these coins. I do not plan to buy them. I'm not pay being paid to do this uh, video, but, um, I would just saw this and I thought like, you know, if Tron is partnering with this Tron, which is like, you know, number 20 something in um, market cap, and these are like in the hundreds of market cap, it might benefit these coins a lot. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.